friends, I am Balaji. Today we are going to see how to create a DLL file using the CSV container. So let's start. On our previous session, we have seen how to compile multiple .cs files to a single .exe file. Today we are going to see how to create a DLL file. Okay. So for that, I will create a new file and I will name it as. Here I will copy this same code and then before that I will create a namespace for this so namespace basic then I will paste this I will also make this MUL as a static. Now I will go to my sample.cs. So before I start using this basic arithmetic, first I will show you how to compile this CS file into DLL file. So for that, open your command prompt, go to that directory, your project directory. There you want to write. And then file name math dot and then slash on so not slash no. target target library title. It is showing that slash out and slash target must appear before source file name. So, okay. And this at the end I will put my source file name. What is my source file name? Match that. That's all. My DLL file was created. See, here it is. Match that DLL. Here it is. Now I am going to use this method DLL on my sample.cs. I will remove all my existing code and then I will use that math.basic using basic arithmetic. Then I will use console dot right line instead of using I can directly use that name also as a fully qualified name. So I will show you so basic dot new map dot add two comma two so now I will go to my command prompt to run this application. CSE sample dot see it is showing that basic arithmetic does not exist in the current context. Okay. We want to add a reference for that um, basic arithmetic. So here I'll use CSE sample dot CS slash R to relate my DLL with this sample dot CS. Inside the temp folder, my real name is from um, so, you.
the tagging is Now I run, run this CSE sample.cs and then I relate this sample.cs with this map.cs. Now I will run this sample.dx. See, now it's showing result of addition, subtraction, multiplication. See? Now I will do one small modification here, create a new directory and I will name it as packages inside these packages I will move my method here now again I will go to my command prompt and then I will again run this now, now my method DLL is available inside the packages directory so I want to specify that pack packages method okay now see there is no error it's running successfully this successfully compiled my sample.cs to sample.exe by referring to this math.dl okay now i go to my explorer windows explorer and then i run this sample.exe but it's showing some error file not found which file is not found could not find math but we have already linked that math.dl but it cannot be able to find that math.dl okay now before i actually show you solution i will click quickly demonstrate you how uh, visual studio run this application just for a demonstration so after that i will show you how to solve this problem okay so i will open the visual studio wait a second yes i will create a new project My project has created successfully. I will copy my code. Showing that basic arithmetic does not exist. So I will go to my solution explorer to link my basic arithmetic uh, namespace with this um, program directory. So right click this name one and reference. Here you want to browse to this directory and then you want to select not this directory, this directory. You want to browse this directory and then you want to select this map.dll. Okay. Browse. Now double click this map.dll. My now I will run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. When Visual Studio runs this program, it is not showing any error. It is running that application access. So let's see what Visual Studio is doing. So I'll go to my solution folder. I click this project. So I will open my project folder in Windows Explorer. In 
say this in ebug i can find this temp1 so this temp1 is a exe file for this application i think can you able to see this match.dll is key present here but where it is actually done it is actually there on our temp directory temp packages directory so but when i add a reference to this match.dll visual studio is taking a copy of that match.dll and then it is putting it into the same directory of this temp1.exe because during the time of compilation we can link our exe file and dll file and then we can able to compile our source code the min dot ps file to dot exe but during the time of execution we want this dll file because microsoft will not combine compa the source code of dll into exe but it will link it will get link to the dll file dynamically during the time of execution so it needs to be there in a same directory this dll file should be there inside the same directory of our exe file so now you will get the solution for the our problem since my exe file and dll file is not there inside the same directory this problem is occurring so i will make a copy of this master dll and then i will put it in a same directory sample dot where sample dot exe is there now i go to my command prompt and then i will run this application okay it compared to successfully and then now i try to run this sample dot it's not showing any error this is because now my sample dot exe and match dot dll is present in the same directory so it's not showing any error so that's all for this session on our next session we are going to see how to use the external dll file which you may download from internet so we are going to see how to add a reference to that dll file okay thank you